Hey there, stackers. What's up? Big Stack McGee here with another video for you. Hope everyone out there is doing great. I'm excited. I have a nice package from eBay that I'm chomping at the bit to get into, and I'll open that up here in just a second. Before I do that, though, I just want to talk just briefly for about the subject of debt and uh, you know how it pertains to us stackers and investors of precious metals. Uh, both Silverfish VT and Salivate Metal put out some videos recently, great videos, on their thoughts and the dangers of using credit to buy substantial amounts of metals. And I agree wholeheartedly. There's a there's a lot of danger, I think, in, in leveraging metals purchases, especially if you have other debts in your life that you're uh, making installment payments on and things like that. Um, my rationale for that is you don't know what tomorrow brings in your life. You know, uh, There are people, I think, that probably see deals on metals and think that they can buy a substantial amount and then turn around, flip it, make a profit, and be able to pay off the metals and uh, pocket the difference. And in theory, that's great, assuming you you know have the ability to do so and conditions uh, tomorrow are the same as today, but you just never know what life brings. You know, if you get in an accident, if you, have, you lose your job, if the conditions in your life are such that all of a sudden uh, maybe your steady income is not as so steady, well, People that uh, leverage metals purchases find that they have to liquidate it fast and usually not for the profit that they uh, intended, or at least that could, that's the danger, I guess, of, of using a lot of credit to be able to do that. So my, my bit of advice is uh, do everything you can to get out of debt, and um, you know that's really my story, for those of you that have been following this channel, is that um, you know people ask me all the time, how can you afford so much um, you know, for metals purchases each month? And I, I kind of have to laugh a little bit because, like I said before, I, I work in an industry and I have a job that is considered a totally average, if not below average, in terms of income. But I have no debt to speak of beyond our house. I live in a house that's, uh, that's you know, nothing, nothing fancy, and I'm overpaying it substantially to get out from underneath that mortgage. I got just about six or seven years left on that. But um, I don't have any debt, and so that's how I mean. Everything that I buy in terms of metals is my excess, and so I even picked up a second job for the sole purposes of having extra money to stack with, because I, I just feel strongly about it and I enjoy it. But um, the money that I spend on metals is uh, purely superfluous uh, to me. It's extra, and it's uh, it represents my savings. So that's what uh, that's how I feel about it, and just again. You know, if you're stacking out there, I hope that conditions are such in your life that if uh, if an emergency happened or something, you know, a hiccup along the way, that you don't have to dump all of your uh, stack in a in a moment just because you need to free up some cash. So, at any rate, I'm going to go ahead and get to this unboxing. Um, this particular uh, package from eBay is taking advantage of the eBucks program, eBay Bucks. Um, they had sent out a 10% uh, off coupon, or excuse me, a 10% rebate on purchases for, that were greater than $200. And what's interesting about this is it creates a scenario where I'm on YouTube, I'm on, excuse me, I'm on eBay trying to locate what I think of as a great deal, something I'm already looking for, but it can't be from the bullion category because eBay bucks don't work for bullion. So it's got to be something from, I've been looking at coins and paper money and any other category there that doesn't have to do with bullion. So um, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and open this up and then we'll uh, talk about what I got. I got myself a nice piece of gold here and uh, what I picked up If you can tell from through the plastic here, it's a gold sovereign. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and uh, we'll take a closer look here. Okay, so I picked up an 1884 gold sovereign. Beautiful old coin. And it's got Queen Victoria. Definitely not a BU coin, there's no doubt about it. It's seen some uh, some sort of wear. But if I compare that to say this one, this was a BU gold sovereign, this is a 1966. And it's got young Queen Elizabeth there. 
And also maybe one more here. It's King George. 1925. So, yeah, the, uh, the most recent one I picked up does have a little bit of wear on it. Or at least just, a few, you know, a couple scratches and whatnot. But uh, it's a nice old piece. It's amazing to me to have a gold coin this old and uh, pick to pick up for <laughs> really close to melt value. So let me tell you how it kind of all went down. Um, I was able to pick this coin up. If you factor in the eBay buck rebates, um, I ended up picking this up for, I want to say it's about I don't know, $15 cheaper than you could find it at, uh, you know, say, AppMex or Providence. Um, in fact, this coin itself is uh, sits about five dollars more expensive than their buyback price. You know that's not bad for a uh, for for a pickup from uh, eBay. And again, that factors in the rebate, which I'll get to spend later. So I'm um, very very excited to pick this up. If you haven't signed up for uh, eBay Bucks yet, you may want to consider doing so. If you use that site um, for purchases at all, um, not only do you get a certain percentage of your purchases uh, back once every three months to uh, put towards uh, another purchase. But they've been running some really nice uh, incentive programs recently uh, where, you know, sometimes it's the double or triple eBay bucks uh, rebates. Or in this case, it was just 10% off any one item. And so uh, I've been taking advantage of that, and you see the, the eBay bucks. Um, I don't know, there's a lot to spend there at the end of that, that uh, time period. So um, if you haven't done that yet, I encourage you to do so. Uh, regardless, I got another quarter ounce of gold for the stack. So pretty happy about that. And, uh, oh, by the way, I'm going to show you one more thing. So I have these uh, quarter ounce gold pieces. I've been keeping in these uh, small uh, air tights. I think they're, boy, I'd have to double check on the website, but I think they're like 22 millimeter or whatever. At any rate, um, these particular things stack up really nice in a silver half dollar uh, coin safe tube. Just sits in there real nice and uh, it's just a nice way to um, keep those things together. So um, if you have quarter ounce gold pieces, works for me. Um, at any rate, this is Big Stack McGee. Folks, thanks so much for watching my video. I'll be back with you real soon with uh, another unboxing, probably just in just the next day or two. Take care, guys.